I got seven kids and seven baby mamas. But I always tell uh, these women that I got pregnant that I do not want to be a father to these children. So don't expect me to be responsible financially, emotional, spiritually, mentally, or physically with some kids I do not want. You gotta be ashamed of yourself. Real talk. How many children do you have? 23. 22 will be every mother. A stuff for a law. Real bad man. This man didn't even come to see his son be born. He went to Philly to play the PlayStation with little Uzi. He thought that was more important than seeing his son be born. Oh, come on now, dog. Come on, man. When I'm browsing the internet, I see guys slandering single moms, but I don't hear anyone slandering the deadbeat dads that created the single moms. They are also part of the problem as well. We are talking about the deadbeat dads that I showed you earlier. The quote unquote fathers. Don't ever call them fathers because they are not. They are deadbeats. They literally don't care about their own blood and seed. They get a woman pregnant and force that woman to raise the kids by themselves. They're not man enough to provide, protect or visit or call their own kids. The only role that they will ever play in them kids lives is neglect. While the mom is working hard to raise them kids by themselves, they are out here drinking and living their best life somewhere in Spain or something. When it comes to child support, they don't want to pay and they will always make excuses on why they can't provide for their own kids. It's unforgivable and they don't have the right to ever call themselves fathers. Sorry about the rant but sometimes I just don't understand these guys. They know fully well that they don't want children, yet they still choose to lay the sheets with a female without no protection. They decide to spray the solution in the box fully, risking it all and being completely unaware of any consequences of their actions. So when they get that I'm pregnant text message, then all of a sudden, they're all surprised. That's like it was unexpected or something. So they start having meltdowns and now they be wanting to abort the mission, but the female lieutenant ain't allowing it. She is proceeding on that mission for nine months. So since the guy cannot convince the woman to get rid of the child, he runs away instead. These guys lay their bed, but they don't want to sleep on it. And this is what we call a deadbeat father. Deadbeat dads are ruining our society. They are the reason why you're hearing police sirens every single day. They are the reason why you're seeing poverty all around your area. They are the reason why people are taking them crazy medicines. And when I say medicines, you know exactly what I am talking about. They have single-handedly broken the family unit by leaving without a trace. It's disgusting. The nuclear family is meant to be a mom, a dad and children. But nowadays, it's the mom and no father. That guy told his family that he was going to the supermarket to get the milk, but he never returned. A child without a father will alter the course of their whole life. Multiple studies have shown that fatherless humans are of increased levels of mental health issues, educational underachievement, family instability and relationship dysfunctionality. And the worst part about it is that they are more deadbeat dads than ever before. According to US Census Bureau, 17.8 million children in the US, nearly one in four live without a biological step or adoptive father in the home. 17.8 million children? That's close to the population of Romania. And speaking of Romania, because young people don't have a father figure to guide them, they look elsewhere for guidance. They're looking for guidance from strange dudes living in Miami and Romania. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to be mentioning names. I don't know why young men are looking for guidance in the red pill. All the creators in the red pill do not care about you. They are just trying to profit from your insecurities. They are complete frauds. Plus they give garbage levels of advice and all they care about is trying to follow you into the trash courses that they're selling. So for example, let's take a look at Fresh and Fit. If you're fortunate enough to not know who Fresh and Fit is, then I wish I was in your position. But Fresh and Fit is one of them lame alpha male podcasters. End of description. Did you did not hear what happened to Fresh. This man accidentally got a 304 pregnant, allegedly, and he's peddling his way to be a deadbeat dad. And never forget, this is the same guy that always makes fun of single mums and tell young men to avoid 304s. Yet he still went to the street scouting for 304s, then he found a 304 and got her pregnant. You see the irony? And Myron isn't any better because after when Fresh got exposed, he is out here losing his marbles and being an emotional crybaby. Also the same guy that always says women are more emotional than men. Both these alpha males are frauds yet young men look to these guys for guidance. Why? If your father is a deadbeat dad, why are you seeking advice from another deadbeat dad? Come on, you really gotta research thoroughly on the men that you take advice from. And the sad part about this is that there's so many men like this. So we just gotta ask ourselves, what causes a man to be a deadbeat dad? 
Like how does one sleep at night knowing they got some kids that they don't do anything about? Maybe because they can't financially support their kids. Then if that's the case, then why even risk one in the first place? It's the poor decision making. Listen guys, if you can't financially support a kid, then there's no point in having children. It's not fair on the kid. Another reason is that absent fathers themselves did not have a father figure when they were growing up. But hell nah, that should motivate them to actually be a better father than their own fathers, not to follow in their footsteps. You should want to break the cycle of fatherlessness in your bloodline. Why make the chain longer? Anyways, another common reason why dudes eventually become deadbeat dads is due to these men developing toxic personality traits from childhood. Deadbeat dads are first deadbeat men. The dad part is just a symptom of their personality. Common personality traits include being very narcissistic and self-centered. They know that raising children is a big commitment, but because of selfishness alone, they refuse to be there for them. They definitely don't want to do the hard work required to raise and support their own seed. Instead, they run away from the consequences of their decisions. They view the world as if the world is acting upon them, opposed to them controlling their own world. They're childish, immature, insecure, bad communicators, high-tempered, and always running away from problems and challenges you know, the list goes on. And even though they have these personality traits, instead of choosing to work on fixing themselves for themselves and their family, they instead choose to be a deadbeat, bruh. Sometimes I think to myself, what did these women see in this men? These men chose to abandon their own blood. I mean, how, who, what, where, like, why, like, oh my days. I think I'm getting a bit emotional like Myron right now. I'm actually so sorry. I'm finding the last reason why men become deadbeat that is because of divorce breakups and separation divorce separation and breakups is often portrayed as the dissolution of a relationship between two adults if we're talking about divorce you have to know that 50 percent of marriages end in divorce the repercussions extend far beyond the couple involved particularly when it comes to the children Amidst the legal proceedings and emotional turmoil, parents often grapple with the question of the custody and visitation rights. And unfortunately, fathers frequently find themselves at a disadvantage in this arena because more often than not, mothers gain custody of the children. Yeah, fine, if you divorce, separate or break up with your partner, more often than not, your ex-partner has custody of the children and some mothers will go as far to limit you visiting the kid. Is the mother is trying to prevent you from visiting the kids? Then maybe you might be some psycho like the joke or something. They sign about you that we don't even know. But again, that's an exception to the rule. For the normal dudes, this isn't an excuse to completely forget your kid just because your baby mama is making it hard for you. It's your child. You have to fight harder. Visit your kid. Support by paying what you gotta pay and do anything necessary for them. Family law typically recognizes the importance of maintaining a child's relationship with both parents, regardless of custody arrangements. So do what you can. Some guys might refuse to pay the funds needed for the child because the baby mom might spend it on herself rather than the kid. Oh well, that's none of your concern. That doesn't discredit you from trying to support. You did what you were supposed to do. There's also another study that I want to showcase that will blow your mind. About 80% of single parent homes are led by single mothers. This doesn't surprise me as I can relate. Listen, my mom raised me and the internet raised me. That's the truth. I was close to my mom most of the time. I didn't really have an impactful relationship with my dad. And after my mom and my dad separate, me and my dad barely even chat. And I feel like I ain't alone in this. Children ain't even having meaningful contacts with their fathers. In the UK where I live, along with Ireland, has the worst statistics in family breakdown in the entire EU. And it's now estimated that approximately 2 million children have no meaningful contacts with their father. Having no meaningful Whoa. contact or having no father figure affects many young people in substantial ways. Even worse, it will alter the future as well. Even though mothers does a lot to raise a child, they still can't fill a fatherless void. For men and women possess innate biological differences that translate into different yet complementary parenting styles. Women are more compassionate and relationship orientated, while men are more aggressive, competitive, and oriented towards risk taking and self-reliance. Mothers provide children with a nurturing, safe, and emotionally secure environment, while fathers challenge their children, push their boundaries, and help them cultivate autonomy. When both parents are present throughout a child's adolescence, it creates a unit and the kid is more likely to do well in life. 
A person with both parents are more likely to have their mental health in good condition, good physical health, good characteristics, and prosper in the cooperate world. In other words, he or she is just a happier person. Contrast with a person that lacks a father figure in their life. Unfortunately, they are more likely to develop harmful traits and characteristics, develop low self-esteem and mental health problems. They are more likely to live in poverty, become an addict, end up in prison, becoming promiscuous and fail at education or work. Like again, the list goes on. So being a deadbeat father is not even bad, it's dangerous. You can't afford to abandon your kid. Because of fatherlessness, guys lack self-respect and allow themselves to be pushovers whether that's in school, work, friendships or relationships. They become delinquents, they drop out of school and struggle with their emotions. And for girls, a lack of a father causes abandonment issues, daddy issues and trust issues. Fatherless daughters often face a lack of confidence and struggle with decision making and they often form relationships with garbage men or ruin their relationship with good men. Daughters without a father figure are more likely to follow bad influences and form toxic friendships. It's also why some girls are scooping very low and starting only fans or work in the adult film industry. And only God knows what really goes on in that industry. Fatherless daughters may find it difficult to open up, express vulnerability and establish meaningful connections with others. So as you can see, a shattered family can affect both parties. So how come these dudes can wake up in the morning knowing that they're causing all of this misery for their own kids and emotionally unavailable dads you guys are also deadbeat dads as well don't think that you're let off the hook just because you're in the household what happened to just a simple family a family where a mother a father and children live together day in and day out as the days go by this will be a mere fantasy i'm going to speak to the young men specifically and i'll try to take my own advice on this as well i know most of you lost childhoods were kind of rough when we needed our fathers the most, they were not there for us. But we're here now surviving. We've done well to heal from our childhoods. So whether if we had absent fathers or emotionally unavailable dads, we should strive to break the cycle of fatherlessness in our bloodline. We should provide the fatherly guidance that we never got from our own dads. We should never want to pass the same damage that our absent fathers inflicted on us, as we would want the best for our children. I want the best for my kids and we will do what's necessary to become excellent fathers to our children or future children. So if you agree with everything I said, like the video. I appreciate you for listening to everything I got to say. Join the Patreon or channel membership for early access to all my videos, access to blog videos that I'll never share publicly and uncensored content that's too explicit for YouTube. Uh, I'm out. Cheers.